because less than 3% of you people read books. Listen to me. Television is not the truth. Television is a goddamn amusement park. Television is a circus, a carnival, a traveling troupe of acrobats, storytellers, dancers, singers, jugglers, sideshow freaks, lion tamers, and football players. We'll tell you anything you want to hear. We lie like hell. We'll tell you any shit you want to hear. We do it in illusions, man. None of it is true. You're beginning to believe the illusions. This is mass madness, you maniac. In God's name, you people are the real thing. We are the illusions. Happy New Year! <laughs> Welcome to NM by Television. We are on episode 121. We're talking about what is Project 2025. My name is Luke Troy Everett. DJ Drumtastic, thanks for joining in. Thank you for joining in. Yeah, everybody, thank you for joining in. We're doing something a little different. We usually stream on three platforms so make sure you share you like you subscribe to the youtube page we have cut out whatever that thing is called twitter x bz whatever we're not doing twitter we are now streaming live on instagram <clears throat> so let everybody know if they're on instagram they can go ahead and go on instagram and watch our live we are no longer supporting the platform x why i don't know we just wanted to try something different. Yep. We are live. Hey, D Cannon. How you doing? Happy New Year to you, too. We are live on Instagram, y'all. Check us out on IG. Where that link at? Let me get put that link up, Troy. Because I don't have it. Okay. It's new. All right, you guys. Like, share, all that good stuff. How was your New Year's? How'd you bring it in? I brought it in at home, nice dinner, watched some nice movies and shows. And when me and my wife looked up, it was 12.07. Happy New Year. Yep. I was in Naples. Down in Naples, visiting mom, took the grandkids. We had a good time. <clears throat> we, uh, they, had, uh, they had a fireworks show. Supposed to start at six o'clock. We got down there at seven, just like some black folks to be late. We got there just in time for the traffic. We didn't see none of the right. none of the fireworks. Hey, Miss Jones, greetings, happy new year. Happy new year. Thanks for joining in. Shay. Hey, Shay. Happy New Year. Thanks for joining in. Thank you for joining. We just saying what we did for New Year's. I just stayed at home, chill, watch some TV. Troy went to see his mom. Yeah. Oh, she said Greg was working, so she was sleeping. No, no, that sounds that. Good. <clears throat> good way to bring in a new year. Right. Sharif, go ahead and tell them Funny about the green work. room. Yeah. Tell them about the green room. Yeah. Uh, make, sure, make sure in the green room, make sure you uh, have the camera correct and, and the light on and uh, so that way I can read your left. And you're welcome to come in. Come in on the green room to jump in on the discussion, you guys. We love to have you. Like Troy says, we didn't come do this just so you could watch us three idiots talk. Exactly. But really, Troy's the only idiot. <laughs> and, so drummer's, what, and drummer's an asshole. <laughs> what? What? Um, has anybody stuck to their New Year's Eve resolution? I don't have one. But. Sharif, you had a New Year's resolution? Resolution? Uh, what do you mean by New Year's resolution? What? A promise to do something in the new year. Um, well, yeah, yes, I do. Um, to lose my stomach. Oh, right here. Lose my stomach. My new, new Year's resolution, as it is every year, is to laugh at everybody else's New Year's resolution. I don't have one. We go to sleep and we wake up 
from New Year's Eve to New Year's. It's just like the week before, the week after. It's just the same. We just went into a new year. Um, anything that I was doing before New Year's, I'm going to continue doing it. You've been wanting to lose your stomach, so don't act like you're only doing it because it's a new year. You I wanted know. to do it anyway. Well, yeah, you're right. Okay, so look, we are me and Troy are me and Troy and you already said this. We're gonna challenge each other, so we're gonna be checking and making sure you're doing what you're supposed to do. Uh, and, but I tell you what, for me myself, you know, and um, I got my weakness, and every time I um, do my workout and everything for one week, then I don't get back into it, so I don't have no motivation after that. You know, what you do? Yeah, Go work out and then eat some cookies. I'm not. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I'm gonna have to do better. That's all. That's why not to eat before I go to bed. That's my yeah. biggest problem. But you know what? Drink water or yeah. or some fruit. Eat some fruit. I'm allergic to fruit. Oh, that's right. You yeah, can't eat fruit. I drink water. I'm eat a salad. Water. Eat a little bit of salad before bed. Drink some water. Water. Yeah. So just that up. Drink some water. All right, you can do it. We're going to make sure we uplift you. And because I think Troy, I, me and Troy both said like a couple of weeks ago, we get back all the way to doing what we was doing. Yeah. I fell off a little bit, but I got to get back. But that's that a, wasn't no New Year's resolution. Yeah, no, that, that needs to be a everyday resolution. Healthy eating. We need to do another show on healthy eating. And, you know, like we did a year well we, we've been doing this two years uh yeah almost two years a year or so ago put that info out there but you guys what oh, is so Duke, 25 does anybody know that's what we're talking about today go ahead that's Troy. right we're going to talk about that uh, uh dukem he's over there thanks for watching on instagram dukem says technically the new year starts in spring everything starts in spring okay well so, so we don't we don't have to make any new year's resolutions no um, right now so we'll wait till spring i don't do it anyway bronco what's going on bronco bronco thanks for joining in really appreciate you jump jumping in brother we're going to talk about that project 20, project 2025 that the conservative republicans are trying to push on the next uh republican president pretty scary shit I'm gonna have to pull up my uh, IG. Another one for IG. <clears throat> but yeah, we're gonna get into that real soon. Uh, did we talk about the green room? Yeah, Sharif, you go ahead. You talk about it. If you, Sharif already told them what they needed to do, I put the um, I put the link up. So okay, so the, so, so the links in there. If you guys want to come in, talk about this subject or any other subjects that we're talking about, hit that green room link. Make sure you're well lit. So Sharif, Sharif is deaf, so he can read your lips and, and see right. your face. So make sure you're lit properly <clears throat> if you want to come on and discuss about that. Um, uh, discuss about what we're talking about. Uh, you can jump right in. Hey, Bronco, you don't have to know. Don't know. You don't have to know about it. We're going to talk about it and play a little video before we go into the conversation. So, yes. Uh, you if know, you don't you know, you need to, to know. Yeah, you definitely need to know what's going on. We're trying to dismantle the government could be a good thing could but not for us well like we always do about this time i didn't mean to cut yeah. you off but i was trying to get this going. go ahead so uh the group what is that the uh, the blacklist. blacklist. <laughs> it's a blacklist. What is a blacklist? Blast blacklist is a, a group that we put together. <clears throat> the links in the uh, the links. That, the, he just put up the link. So the blacklist is for entrepreneurs, small business owners. If you have a small business or you're an entrepreneur, you have products or services, you can show your products and services in the blacklist with a whole bunch of other entrepreneurs and business owners. It, it's a networking. That's a networking group we put together. Um, <clears throat> we're going to do a new show or a show, we're going to do an episode. So to the blacklist, we're going to grab a couple people out of there and highlight their businesses, their products and their services. So if you are an entrepreneur or would like to be with like-minded people when it comes to entrepreneurship and business, 
go ahead and join the blacklist. Join Either the blacklist. London. London's made it on. Thank you for joining. Thank yeah, you for London's, joining London. London was on Instagram earlier today. She's selling a couch for two hundred dollars. So if anybody wants a couch for two hundred dollars, uh, go ahead and get in contact with London. She's trying to get rid of that. Only you. <clears throat> hey, uh, I, be I believe it's uh, Purple Renee joined us on uh, Instagram. We appreciate you. Thanks for appreciate joining you. us. And I'll be switching back and forth from that Instagram. So if I miss your, uh, if I miss your message on there, uh, I'll get to you soon. It just doesn't pop up on our our feed over here. Oh, she sold it already. So uh, take that back. Hey, so right, did anybody good, see? Bro. Good London. Did it, anybody see uh, the Cat Williams interview that's blowing up the internet? It's blowing up the internet. Yeah, it's blowing up the internet. We're going to play a little piece, uh, a little uh, warning ahead of time. There is a little profanity. So people like Sharif need to close their ears. For <laughs> 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 was to get this far in Hollywood and still have a virgin asshole <laughs> and never has sucked the penis. That was my only goal. I didn't want to get with a white woman because I was scared she might have me running down the street like Jonathan Man, Majors. Man, you gonna think I'm a old cat. Not because I didn't like white women. I think white women are as great as any other women. But I'm not gonna act like I'm not scared of them. I have a reason to be scared. You could be Kang the Conqueror and they could take your rabbit ass down in two weekends. And that's the truth of the matter. So I stayed away from that. You see Jonathan Major, what he went through, Marvel dropped him as soon as the guilty, uh, uh, the conviction came out. And you were telling the Hey, you saw that black woman come get his charge cut in half? Thank you, Megan Good. God bless you coming to save that slave. <laughs> if he'd had to be there by himself, he was getting awful. Guilty, 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 guilty. She came in there, was just so beautiful. They had to knock half of it off. Bless his heart. What do you think about this cancel culture? You see the situation with Jonathan Major. I mean, for all sense and purposes, I, I don't know if maybe he can bounce back in, in a couple of years, but man, he was he was hot. He was hot. As, he was cooking. I mean, you see him in Creed. He's in the Marvel movies. And then just like that. Maybe I'm a conspiracy theory, but I thought Cal Williams said any that time they make you into that position, part of that contract is you do understand whenever we want to take you down, we can, right? Yeah. Part of giving you the world. First of all, they went around the world for two years straight telling any women that would listen that this was a good looking Negro. Mm -hmm. Since when? When did y'all start liking a big nose? And <laughs> when did y'all like a little head and a big jaw? When? Since when? That look like my daddy. When you start liking my daddy? You like black people's features like that? If this ugly nigga is good looking, then all niggas is good looking. <laughs> Anytime you see them telling you something you can't believe, just understand it's a play. And it don't matter. You gonna know it's a play as soon as they get in that position and think they's gonna tell somebody something. No, you're not. No, you're not. Marvel will cancel you so f you won't be allowed to read a comic book. <laughs> that's Cat. Cat Williams. And yes, that's the that's the that's the clip we chose because that's the shortest clip, Christy. It's a two hour and forty five minute interview. <laughs> we, just, we just wanted to get the conversation started. Too long. He a, yeah, he said a lot of things. He said a lot of things about Taraji P. Henson and what she's going through. Yeah, he called a lot of uh, comedians to the carpet. <clears throat> uh, yes, he did. He called a lot of comedians to the carpet. So, well, well, since we, that's the only clip we played, let what are the, some of the uh, parts of that interview that really tweaked your interest out there? What about you, drummer? Um. Just, this, just knowing and listening to him talk, you automatically know that he's a boss. He owns his own self. So he can say what he wants. He can do what he wants. And a lot, he was telling the truth because you can tell. Like he said, a lot of the guys weren't funny stand-up comics. That's why they're doing sitcoms and they're hosting game shows and stuff because 
he has what did he say 12 or 13 specials and they're still all on you know so he was kind of saying hey and you know i have to do it like this because i'm not going to put on a dress and i'm not going to you know degrade myself you know to make a little bit more money or for clout or whatever so a lot of people don't like it uh a lot of people see the truth now with what's going on what'd she say she said the part that uh really intrigued her was steve harley stealing mark cooper's tv show yes yes oh. yes the same concept he sure did he sure yeah, same did. um and, and he in that he was talking about gatekeepers in hollywood you know there's certain gatekeepers in hollywood that let people in it's a click hollywood is a click so steve harvey you know he opens the door for cedric he opened the door for dl you know, they had the kings of comedy. They didn't like, you know, Bernie was the man on that. We all know there's no right. debate that Bernie Mac was the funniest king on the kings of comedy. Nah. Yeah. I'm scared of you motherfuckers. So. Well, my we, didn't get dark up here. <laughs> Kick ass! <laughs> Kick ass! Yeah. <laughs> now, like Jumper said, he, he, He's his own boss. He can say what he wants to say. He doesn't have to answer to anybody. Nope. Uh, whereas people in the industry, just like that's the reason why, you know, we played that clip. Here's Jonathan Majors getting kicked off a multi-million dollar deal because of what, uh, because of his personal life, what he's dealing with, with his, uh, with, with his uh, white girlfriend. You know, you know, I like I, I like that um um that a lot of the young kids and stuff they are going through the um internet and and, they, and um so off their product and the way they do things on the internet and they are making their own money and their um their own boss too you know right. instead of um well they're getting an endorsement if they go higher to nothing of it but there are some that would go skip all that and try to get a, um a deal. So it's very important to um, be independent. That's how they're selling it. Uh, the internet is selling people that you can be in, independent yourself. Right. right. Uh, Dukem over there on uh, Instagram says the only people mad at Cat are the ones that like uh, the people he spoke on. The truth hurts. Yeah. Yep. And that's one thing I like about Cat. He's always been the same. <clears throat> I remember I was living in Augusta, Georgia. And, we were, I, I got the chance to film him for before his first HBO sh special. Um, and he came in and he did two sets, right? Uh, when he came for the second set, the jokes were totally different. He was talking about Augusta like he lived in Augusta. You know, it, it's amazing. He's, an, he's a great talent. If you watch that interview, he's very, 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 very smart. Very smart man, <clears throat> but yeah, I, I, I agree with him. Very smart. Uh, they they don't the people that got mad at him were the people that like the other guys. And they can't hold the torch to him. Cat Williams, I mean, man, all those HBO specials he produces those himself. himself. His first one, the first one he did, he came out of his own pocket to produce it. Like he says, he gets eight figures eight figures for his Netflix specials. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. But yeah, he did say a lot. Man, did he say a lot on there. He said, you're he right. He said a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what? He, he, he said a lot. Yeah, he's been uh, blackballed for uh, some years. But he ain't really been blackballed. He yeah. can't get blackballed because he don't work with nobody really. The last thing he did was what Fridays. Yeah, I think it was Friday. It was last, that was his first. That was his first movie appearance was Friday. Um, and he killed that part. He killed yeah. that part. Um, and there was a part in there where uh, he he says on the uh, on the interview with the Shannon Sharp, he says that the part where he was in the bathroom, he was supposed to get raped. So he rewrote that piece to where it would be funny. And he said, there won't be no black man getting raped because nowhere in the world is rape funny. So yep. he 
rewrote that whole part. Everything he said in Friday, he wrote. Yep. Um, um, no, um, I, I, the, uh, I, the Hughes, um, said that if he do another um, Friday, he'd rather have um, Cotton Rhythm to um, write. Yeah, they were supposed to be working on it. Like okay. Cat Williams said, yeah, they were supposed to be working on it, but with uh, John Witherspoon's dying, it's kind of hard to put that project together. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, so, yeah, Cat, Cat let, Cat let it, he let the cat out the bag for real. He sure did. That's a good one, Troy. He let the cat out the bag. He sure did. <laughs> he sure did. <clears throat> that was, whoo. Yeah, and I, I think he has a, an inside, and a lot of this stuff is going to come out in the woodworks now. And like you said, 2024 is a year. Is that what year it is? It is 2024, right? Yeah, 2024. No. 2024 is a, a time of truth. You know, the Epstein the Epstein uh, list came out. Some of it has already been leaked. So leading Leonardo DiCaprio, uh, Bill Clinton... Michael Jackson. Um, who else was on there? Trump. Now, it doesn't say that they did anything wrong, but just to be right. uh, wondering what they were doing on those planes and taking trips with Mr. Epstein, because we know uh, Epstein was jailed for uh, trafficking. Trafficking young girls. Wow. We already knew. We already knew. Freaky Bill was freaky. You know, he, he's getting his dome polished. You said who? Freaky Bill. Clinton. <laughs> freaky. <laughs> freaky Bill. Okay. Yeah, Freaky Bill. You think he's getting his dome pol polished in the over office? Got caught, big dummy. Oh, I didn't hear that. The Obamas were on that list too. There was. I mean, a lot of people were going to his islands. That don't mean that they were doing anything bad well right the whole purpose for that island the whole purpose for that island was that's where you go to get these they have these sex orgies that's why it was a private island i mean you go to a strip club and not everybody's got a stripper in front of them yeah but you go to a strip right? club maybe yeah but you're still you're still guilty by you know actually being there right when you think yeah yeah you're that's right because because of what pe because what people think you got 12 13 year old girls being pushed on adult men and you're in the room yeah now that I, I couldn't sit around no shit like that wow you. uh Bronco says is it really a list though yeah, it was, uh, it's a list. Some of them are clients, and some of them are uh, like people that were hurt, or the young ladies that were hurt by it are are, are spilling the beans. Hey, Sheree, thanks for uh, tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. She just got off work. Hope you had a good day. Thanks for tuning in. Happy Morning. New Year. Yes, yeah, so One of my lights just went out. Your what? One of my lights just went out. Oh, okay. What we got here? Nicole Brown. Oh, we got some. You got a, you got some stuff to read, Troy. I'm over here trying to. No, I got them already. Oh, you did. Where else were ultra important people supposed to vacation? Uh, that regular folks don't have access to private islands. Okay, private islands with. Little girls, I guess. That's where they need to go. Thank you. Happy New Year to all of you. Bronco says, from what I saw, it was a an unredacted version of a testimony from a witness. Yeah, some of it was unredacted. Um, the, the other parts of the list were... Now, all these people that are on this list didn't visit this island. These were just clients or people he had been associated with right whether right something wrong or not whether they were at the island uh we don't know the full extent of it yet because it's still you know the proceedings are still going on right 
Well, <laughs> but if you're at that island, man, so far it's just a list. Yeah, so far it's just a list. We don't know what people, what the list is for or what those people are doing yet. We'll know soon. Won't we? Doesn't mean those traffic girls were always there. Defeats the purpose of tra trafficking, doesn't it? If everyone had access to them. Well, yeah. True. True. That, that is true. You guys make sure you like and share. Like and share, please, please. But that's very true. Good point. Very good point. Sure doesn't mean. Yes. <laughs> but I mean, if, you're, if you're a public, if you're a public figure, you're a public figure, and there's whispers of this going on, but you still associate yourself with a pedophile, right? If there's whispers that you know your next door neighbor is a pedophile, and you go over to his house, or go out to lunch with him, or go out to dinner with him, don't don't isn't that guilty by association? Or people, people don't think you're guilty. Either way, right. you they're gonna be whispering about you. But I mean, unfortunately, that's how the world is. <laughs> you know, yeah. birds of feather don't always flock together. That is true. What somebody does, you know, we cuss and Sharif don't. No. He's we're no. talking about people following doing what other people do. I said we cuss, but you don't. So uh, Bronco says a lot of people's names were mentioned as a part of her testimony. Naomi Campbell, for instance, her name came up because the girl went to her birthday party. Oh, okay, Bronco. Yeah, thank you for enlightening us on that. We we were just we were just hearing about this list coming out. Um, and again, he's Leonardo DiCaprio or Naomi Campbell. Not saying they did anything wrong but they they were they were on this list that came out right that's in this proceedings oh let me go over here on instagram okay so we're going we're good over there on instagram okay <clears throat> so we're gonna um what did what bronco say I was looking to I was looking to see uh, something that was a bombshell. Yep, no bombshells yet. Just 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 a list of names. Yep, he said so far nothing yet. That's right, nothing yet. Yep. Nothing to see here. Yet. We'll see what happens next? You know, if something's going down, they they're gonna be yeah. talking about it. But they've been talking about this list for a while as something that was coming out. Yep, they said it was gonna come out. Hey, this Carol, week. Happy New Year! Thanks for Happy New Year. joining. Go ahead, Troy. You're doing that. Uh, we of all the people should know you aren't always guilty by association. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Preach, cuz. Say that again. Matter of fact, I'm going to copy and paste and put that in there again. <laughs> you right about that. We cannot talk about that because we know how that go. Well, you are exactly right. Well, I think it just should be the same for uh, the same, same for all around, even if you got money. It should be. I wasn't lying either. Oh, shoot. All right. So, where are we at? 28. We're going to get into the. Uh, oh, here's Nicole. Nicole says, Curious. Some priests have molested boys, does not stop worshipers from attending Mass. Woo! Woo! That is correct. They still go knowing. They knew before he got busted. And Ooh. we all know that. We've seen it over i'm 56 and i've been hearing about stuff like that for years and what happens oh we know catholicism is just a bunch of pedophiles anyways all the way from hope all the way to pope down hey well i guess is it time to get into it yep all right well i guess we're gonna go with it where's it at Oh, here we go. Go with it, Troy. 
So we got a little uh, humorous, uh, even though this is not a, a, a funny, uh, nothing funny about the uh, Project 2025. We've got a video that we're going to show that kind of explains it in a humorous way. Let me go ahead and share that. Christopher Titus and this is the Armageddon Update. America finally has its own mind conf. That's right. The wrong on the right have come up with a plan to take everyone's rights away, which is so wrong, except for fat, doughy, conservative white guys. And it's called the 2025 Project. It actually sends America backwards to 1825. That's what Chuck Grassley wanted to call it because that's when he graduated high school. <laughs> so what is the 2025 project? Well, it's a GOP plan to stop immigration in a country built by immigrants. It takes away freedoms from anyone who isn't a straight white male in a country built on freedom for everybody, no matter what color you are. It takes away the rights of anyone who isn't straight white or male so women lose their rights to their body no one can get married except for straight couples no matter how freaky those straight couples are this is one of the founders of the conservative organization moms for liberty bridget ziegler yeah and she's anti-gay and anti-trans she's a bastion for christian values and this is her husband christian ziegler well these hardcore christians on the side of right were involved in a three-way sexual relationship with this woman now and this woman is now saying that Christian Ziegler raped her. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, those Christian values. Hallelujah. But back to the 2025 project. The plan is led by the Heritage Foundation, a conservative think tank. Of course, conservative and think is an oxymoron, heavy on the moron. In collaboration with Turning Point USA, Charlie Kirk, former Trump chief of staff and currently indicted insurrectionist Mark Meadows and advisor and current treasurer for the Vampire Union, Stephen Miller. So the worst and dullest of the conservative douchebags have created a plan for a dystopian American future run by a six time bankrupt racist whose best friend out pedophiled the Catholic Church, who also stole top secret documents, got his family two billion dollars from Saudi Arabia and has been indicted in four different jurisdictions with 91 felonies you know making america great one felony at a time project 2025 includes dismantling the fbi and homeland security and putting the president in charge of the department of justice you know so we can decide who gets arrested and who gets to keep criming unfettered <laughs> it immediately invokes the insurrection act which means cops and soldiers will arrest who the president wants to be arrested, which means it violates the Constitution pretty much on every blood-soaked page and makes abortion illegal. Women will have to report their pregnancies. It increases the use of fossil fuels and kills funding for clean energy. <laughs> it places the entire executive branch under presidential control. You know against everything our founding fathers wanted the doj the fcc the federal trade commission all under the control of one orange fat guy who can barely remember five words person woman man camera tv it calls for killing the laws that stop discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation gender identity transgender status or sex characteristics, etc. So hate crimes are going to be legal, just like in Nazi Germany. Pornography would be outlawed. Yeah, it's in there. Yeah, the guy who married a woman who posed naked in softcore porn all the time and also paid a porn star to have sex with him wants to ban porn. Okay. And this is just the beginning, people. You should read it. I did. And to be clear, we have people talking on the right of taking up arms against their fellow Americans. When do we get to use the guns? And I don't know what these people are thinking, but be clear. If you want to kill democracy and install a dictator against the Constitution and the dude named Jesus you say you follow and believe in, I just want you to know. Okay. I'm your huckleberry. And there are 200 million more of me, too. So you give it your best shot. And hell's coming with me, you hear? <laughs> Hell's coming with me! I'm Christopher Tide.
to the Armageddon update. You know, it's funny about these people. They we're going to take our country back from what? From the best economy we've had ever from a guy. Who <laughs> yeah, so that was a little um, funny bit. Uh, that that kind of explains it. But if you go and read it, yeah, basically what he's saying is they're trying to dismantle the government and re rewire the way America works getting rid of the Constitution and how the Constitution works. Um, uh, <laughs> Shay says, a little off topic, but I'm watching Tombstone tonight, right? That's a, that's a good movie. <laughs> Tombstone's an awesome movie. I'm, I'm gonna, I might do the same thing. Uh, Whoa, crazy. Yeah, it, no, it is crazy. crazy. You go on there, they have a whole dossier. Uh, I think yes, let me read a little bit what I got here. The yeah. actions of the liberal politicians in Washington have created a desperate need and unique opportunity for, oh shoot, hold on, <laughs> for uh, conservatives to start undoing the damage the left has brought and built a better country for all Americans in 2025. It is not enough for conservatives to win elections. If we are going to rescue the country from the grip of the radical left, we need both of the governing agenda and the right people in place ready to carry this agenda out on day one of the next conservative administration. And we all know they're talking about the Republicans, I call them. Yeah, so if you go ahead and look at the dossier, they already have people picked out for the positions for the president, right? So, right. Uh, and it's the Heritage Foundation. The Heritage Foundation is also uh, those who backed a lot of policies for Reagan. And we know what happened during the Reagan administration. He got rid of a whole bunch of um, uh, rules and regulations for big, com big companies. Mm -hmm. And he had this thing, it's called Reaganomics, or trickle-down economy, where all the rich people or the rich corporations got tax cuts that was supposed to make them more profitable and they could pass that down to the workers and everybody else. We see how well that worked. And if you if you remember, some of us are old enough to remember, Reagan's slogan was, make America great again. <laughs> if you guys remember, it was the same slogan that he is using now or has used for his... his uh, political movement uh trump that is but yeah if you read the dossier it's really scary they want to get rid of basically the constitution and we are we're, we're not a democracy let's get this straight ladies and gentlemen we are not a democracy we are a constitutional republic exactly so based off everything off the constitution and what they're trying to do is tear down the constitution we which governs no the body Right. So there's checks and balances in that constitution, even though it's old as hell, it needs to be, you know, right. updated. Yeah, that's why they have amendments. We should have more amendments talks on some of the stuff. But with the constitution, what happens is you have the checks and balances, you know, you have the uh, executive branch, the judicial branch. So we have these three different branches and they kind of serve as checks and balances for each other. With what they're saying is we're going to get rid of those and put everything under the executive branch or the presidential branch so that he would control everything, just like a dictatorship. It's almost like, that, they're, trying, it's almost like they're trying to do the same thing with um, the other country you do. Right, right. He said, uh, Bronco says, what makes this ideology dangerous is the fact uh, if they are allowed to succeed. They will try to spread this type of hate around the world. Yes, exactly. And that's what they said. That's what in one of the interviews with the um, the president of the Heritage Club is, or the Heritage Group, is that if it doesn't happen now, it never will. So that's the huge importance for the elections this year. Even though, you know, we got to right. vote for the people of lesser evils, which always happens. Right. Always. Honestly, I don't think Biden. Will make it out of the, his second term. I don't think he's doing a bad job as a he's president. Old. Hey, he's old as shit. He's old. He's starting to pause. He's getting words. No yeah. knock on him, but he's old. And you yeah. know, if he wins again and he can't make it, then 
We got to come out take his place. <clears throat> Do they really want that? No. Uh, Hell no. There's a lot of people that don't want that. Hell to the no. Black woman is president. Oh, they would really, really not like that. But yeah, if you guys have time, go ahead and check out the 2025 project. Read on some of it. It is it is some scary stuff. Shay says, I feel like this is kind of like the start of the real life left behind series. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah because really yeah. the stuff that they're trying to get rid of is geared toward women, minorities. Black men, uh, Hispanics, yeah. it's to protect the so called privilege. Yeah, if you guys remember, like I said, the heritage group or whatever that, that's coming up with this thing, remember what happened, uh, in the rate during Reagan's time. You know, we had an all out war on drugs, all out war. I mean, a whole generation of black men were incarcerated for drugs that the United States government was pumping into our communities. Exactly. So it's, yeah. Uh, Brunkle says that's their greatest fear. Yeah. Yeah. It's to have a, a, a black woman as president. That's their greatest fear. So yeah, the 20, the project 2025. Now this, this will go into fit that they have a whole dossier says what they're going to do the first 180 days. So when you go and read that, it's going to tell you what they have planned for the first 180 days. Bronco says this is white supremacy at its greatest. That's exactly what this is. Yeah, I was oh, just reading that because I'm over here on. Uh, I'm over here on. Uh, <laughs> it's a white supremacy. It's a white supremacy dossier. Is what it is. Yep, Project 2025. Oh, yeah. It, and it's not like this hasn't been out. Uh, they've been doing this almost every presidency is coming up with these exactly. dossiers to come up. Um, can't you got to be you got to be careful. OK, so how many people that we have watching actually heard about this or knew anything about this? Hey, you guys should thank Troy on this because I didn't know until he said something about it. But like he said, when he was explaining it to us. It's been around since the Reagan era. Yeah, they've just tried to modify it. And, and But the way this country is changing, it's changing so fast. Those that are in power, or the powers that be, they're, they're scared. They're scared of this change. Uh, let's see. Wishful thinking for those douchebags. Totally agree, Bronco. Uh, yep, heard and knew of uh, knew of some of it. Yeah, so um, it, it, but you know, but what we're so consumed with is what Cat Williams said about, <laughs> you know, what I'm saying what we Epstein list, Cat Williams. We got all this noise out there that we don't, yep. we don't see what else is going on behind the scenes. I mean, to get rid of the Constitution, man, that's it. You know, it's it's a it's. It's a flawed document, but it's a document that's meant to be able to, uh, I guess you'd say, morph as 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 the United States morphs. That's the reason they have amendments. Exactly. Did, did they did they ever say anything about um, health care? Yeah. Health so that's care? Not, no, I didn't see nothing about that. What did you see, no. Troy? Well, they had something that uh, uh, one of the one of the paragraphs was to put the family put the family at the put the family at the top of the list of uh, a, a nuclear family so basically mom dad but they said nothing about health care nothing about health care so what's going to happen under this kind of regime is they'll cut all the re, you know cut all the regulations so health care will skyrocket in the right. united states we have got the worst health care for the most expensive price in any industrialized nation. Any. The most expensive. The most expensive, but the worst of any industrialized nation. Bronco says, when you think about it, the Epstein story is just distractions. Yes. 
I think yep. Nicole said the same thing, distractions. It's a distraction to keep you from looking into the other things that really, really mean something. Yeah. Who cares about that list? That list don't mean anything. Right. Nope. It means nothing. It's just some names. Me and your name could be on the list. I mean, what? what is it? <laughs> it ain't nothing. I ain't got that kind like of bread. Like she said, distraction. They steady distracting. Remember how we seen all of it about Israel, Palestine? And then soon as the truth start coming out, they shut it down real quick. Now you don't see nothing about it. And they shut everybody down who was going against what the U.S. was saying. Right. Sean right. King is gone. Everybody who was talking on, they shut down their platform. And Sean King had actual proof of pictures, videos, guys talking, saying where they were at, where they're from, and who's doing what. Right. So they put on the spin machine. They yes. turn off, they turn off uh, the voices and they turn on the spin machine because what's happening over there is, is, is genocide. I don't care what anybody says. It's genocide. What Hamas did to Israel is, is terrible. It's exactly. absolutely terrible terrible but now you're performing genocide on a whole group of people man most of them don't even agree with hamas and the funny thing about this is before 19 before 1949 in israel jews and the palestinians lived together in peace for hundreds of years it wasn't until the u.n britain u.n and the united states came in and divided up the land like they did that we have now have this problem. Prior, prior to that, 1949, 1946, they didn't have any problems living together in peace. So, uh, we're living in some strange times, people. Once again, the U.S. are big bullies. They lie, cheat, and steal, and try to take over everything from everybody else. <laughs> they don't care about nobody. And I think that's one of the things that's good about social media is platforms like this where we can discuss, you know, things like Project 2025. We can discuss and, and hear each other's ideas when it comes to what do we do about this or have you heard about this? And, and to hear what you guys think and say uh, means a whole lot to the platform. Exactly. Netanyahu was sending Hamas billions through Qatar up until September 20. 23 which is which is it's an inside job i'm gonna say it people we might get flagged but it's an inside job it is we all know that israel has the best surveillance just like the united states that's where you get everything from how yep. did they how did they not know this was going to happen how did they inside not? job you're right uncle says he knew plans of the attack. Yeah, he actually had plans of the attack and was warned about how they were going to do it. People that were on the fence were warning, hey, we're seeing activity prior to the, you know, Hamas coming to Israel and, and, and massacring all those people. There was, you know, uh, Israel soldiers saying, hey, we're seeing a lot of activity over here. Something's going down. Ignored it. Exactly. And, and, it, and it's all about really the greed and the money. There's a canal that we were talking about at the Bin, the Suez Canal. When I think we yeah. said this once before, the Suez Canal, that's in Egypt, right? It goes from the Dead Sea to, or the uh, Mediterranean Sea to the Red uh, to the Red Sea. That's the only way to cut through and not have to go all the way around the Horn of Africa. That's the way you can cut through, just like um, the Panama Canal. Where they're bombing and driving all the Palestinians south, right there, if you look at uh, Gaza, Gaza is right there on the Mediterranean, where that new canal they want to create is. So, you know, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I just look at stuff and, and I look at it uh, logically. And you read because it's all over the place. <laughs> That's all they're talking about. It, it, but yeah, I, that's what I think it is. Mass extermination. Mass, yeah, it's dr actually, Drummer sent that to me. You're the one that sent that to me, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. They're trying to take that canal because they can be able to run ships through there because right now you can't run nothing through there. But if you don't run through there, you got to go all the way around. So it takes longer. 
Yep. So they if the U.S. Ship. gets with Israel to come over there and say, we're taking this land, and if they lie and say, well, it's the Palestinians, the Ma Hamas, blah, 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 blah. It's always going to be people that take this side and some people that take this side. Right. So as long as you got this and this. Yeah. Yeah. And like Jerome said, that the only way to get through there is the Suez Canal. Now, for 24 hours, for 12 hours a day, the yep. Suez Canal goes in one direction. Yep. Right. And then 12 hours, it goes the other direction. That impedes military. That impedes military crafts to come through. It impedes, you know, um, you know, uh, traffic for commerce to come through. So what they want to do is they want to make their own canal where it goes in both directions so it doesn't impede military uh, goods coming through. And plus you get money from that. Hey, Art. He says no matter what. In. Hey, our, our man Mark's made it in. No matter where uh, the war is, the world... Is all one big money laundering, laundering scheme. scam? Damn. Yep. Thank you. Art. This That's is it, Art. The, it's, yeah, if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. Cease the land. Yeah, there's been a lot of land grabs lately. What Bronco say? This is. The, oh, you read that? Oh, okay. My bad. My bad. Yep. Follow the money. Scratch a lie, find a thief. That's right. <laughs> That's right. right. That's it. That's right. Yeah, that's, that's what how it is. And so uh, I'm glad we were able to talk about uh, Project 2025. Me and Man, I, I learned yeah. a lot about this since it, I first found out, like, wow. So we're sitting up here worried about who's going to be the president and all this stuff. It looks like with the Project 2025, we need a Democratic president. <laughs> we might be in trouble, y'all. Who right. knows? Do we even know if this is this whole thing is correct? I don't know. What can we we can't believe anything because social media and the internet will throw stuff out there just so we can pay attention to it, yep. and then they throw us off by doing something else on the side. So oh, yeah, we're gonna it's keep cheap. digging and researching this so we can make sure we update this whole thing. So y'all know what's popping. But not none of them when you said that it was um you don't know what to believe and stuff. Because there's a lot of it, like a uh, scam. Yeah. People going to, you don't even know what to believe. You don't. They do that on purpose no. because they want people battling and arguing. Long as they got that, they got everybody confused and held to skelter why they getting rid of health care, getting rid of this, and just doing all kind of stuff to us because we're not paying attention. Right. If we realize all we got to do is vote for everything, not just the president, for everything. There's votes out there where we can vote to get better health care, but we don't pay attention to it. We pay attention to everything else. The president, right. you know, governors make decisions in each state too. We have to vote the right governor in. Jeez. But that slides under under the radar. Yeah, it's speaking of that, could you imagine? I'm in Florida. Could you imagine the Florida governor as a United States president? Uh, no. Uh, no. Are you kidding? Or, but I look, uh -oh. I look over and I think, I look over and I think it's important. Yes, look. that's right, Sheena. AI is popular now, so you really can't trust nothing. Yeah, you be calling yeah. your phone and it sounds like a robot. It's AI now that calling you, trying to get you to buy stuff or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Hell no, it's right. Yeah. Oh, Bronco, we uh, Bronco. I just got a text from Bronco. He said, "Look at your phone." So he says, uh, my statement about Netanyahu was highlighted on the chat a while ago. What he happened? Wanted to know if we, he wanted to know if we highlighted his chat. Uh, there, no, I did uh, that. I did that. Okay. I did that. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. I, I, I highlighted it. My, I highlighted it. I thought that was interesting, so I did that. Yeah, so we did that. No, we, you didn't get us in any trouble. <laughs> you, hey, look, say what you want on this platform that's what it's about i don't care if you're far left far right right heterosexual gay say what you want that's the problem that's why we started off with cat williams he's speaking truth True. that's what we want to do on this platform speak your truth uh speak your truth that's right he's got some great heels though he's talking about desantis <laughs> I bet you got a pair of them boots at home. Or oh, wait. One thing I forgot, because I forgot to do this this before when we first got started. You guys, we cannot forget 
about the merchandise. Oh, you know, man, the hoodies, the hats, stuff. and all that stuff that we're wearing here today. I have my hoodie on, but I got too hot. I put up the link. Uh, Troy, tell them some of the other interesting things we got up there. You can get different color shirts, hoodies, right. so we, hats, uh, hat like Sharif. Yeah, I'm going I'm to go ahead and bring up the, real quickly. I'll bring up the uh, the site. So we're starting to reorganize our merchandise. As you can see here, we have the three different type of logo designs. The the shirt that I've got on now, the hat that Sharif has. Um, uh, we have the t-shirts. Yeah, the two-tone hats. So if you click on here, you can see the different the different colors. Show the ones that have the different color inside the tie. Like ours is blue. And they have red, pink, or whatever color you want. Right. Yeah, so this this is, you can pick whatever you want. Other, uh, let me go back. Go to the shirt so you can see the different colored shirts. Yeah, so we got the, the full logo in red, or in blue here. This one is in, in red. Again, uh, logo in blue and red. We're just starting out with the, the blue and red. So if you click on, uh, let's just click on this one. Well, okay, I had a question. See that one. Here's a red. Go ahead. First, Bronco said he needs a T-shirt. And then Art said, are these made to order or do you have them in stock? No, they're made to order. Yeah, they're made to order. You go boom. on, pick your pick your colors and stuff, and then boom. Yeah, Marche ordered one last week. Uh, uh, thank you, Marche, for, for your purchase. Marche ordered one, I mean, probably a week and a half ago. She's got hers. She won't let us post a picture, though. Uh, but, yeah, these... We don't have them in stock. We just find it right now. It's the most convenient for us. We don't want to have a bunch of overhead because we don't have money like that. So, yeah, it's a it's a print service that we go through. You order it. You make your order. It's on-demand printing. They send it to you. Uh, so, yeah, well, yep. go ahead and uh, check them out. And the sizes are, are correct. If you wear a large, a large is going to work for you. If you mm -hmm. wear extra large, boom, they're, they're actual sizes. That's why we have them, so we can know that for sure. Yeah. Well, what do you say? Come on. Yeah. Y'all are fat rolling. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Our, we, just, we just think it's better business to, you know, the print on demand. We have yeah, overhead. Dude, you don't have to do it and worry about shipping it. You don't have to worry about waiting. You go over there, do everything you want, pay. It'll come to you, and it lets us know who ordered when and all that stuff. Yeah, and we got them at pretty good prices too. We're not making a lot on these shirts at all. No, probably a dollar twenty-five on each shirt, dollar something on a hat. So we try to keep the prices low, uh, so you know you guys can go ahead and get it. The dude, you live in a gated community. You got Benjamins. <laughs> oh, look at art. <laughs> 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 Gator Get your hand out my don't pocket. Mean nothing. Get your hand out my pocket. I'm still broke. Gated communities don't mean nothing. <laughs> they got, got poor it. gated communities, medium gated community, and rich. So he live in a poor gated community. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I live in a poor gated community. He'd be outside and, and, trying to get free food. They'd be bringing him corn, canned corn and stuff. In Ormond Beach. Yeah. Poor gated community in Ormond Beach. Go ahead and check that out. I'm going to say I'm like a fat elephant. I remember everything. <laughs> <laughs> now, you guys, make sure you go look into this Project yeah. 2025. We're going to be bringing you more yeah. and more of it. But go look into it. Read it for yourself so you can understand the full scope of it because it's a lot. And yeah, if you can... Take that and share it to other people. Send the links or whatever. Everybody needs to know about this because a lot of people don't. Yeah. I think the main people that know is the people who like to read a lot. And they go and read a lot of different articles. Yeah, so the, the, the information is out there. There's a lot of information. But you like like we said earlier, there's a bunch of noise out there too. Cat Williams dissing the kings of comedy. That's what we let off with, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, yes, Art. Yes. We got to say, go blue. Oh, okay. Go made blue. It 
Yeah. We've made it to the national championship game. This is going to be a walkthrough. We are going to be no, no, no. I want Michigan to win, but I don't know about this walkthrough stuff. You got two teams mm -hmm. and two different conferences that haven't played each other and win. How long have they ever played each other? Yeah, it's been it's been a while. Okay, you got a nice quarterback over there on Washington. Let's not just overthink Washington because you're going to be crying if Washington just come in and steamroll them. Give Washington some respect. I want Michigan to win, but you got to give Washington their respect. They, respect. they are undefeated for a reason. What conference are they? Big 12? I don't care what conference they're in. What conference they are they in? Oh, y'all always talk about what conference somebody in. Michigan you know, is in the Big 12. You got to come out and win the game. Michigan ain't Michigan's won the game yet. They got to play the game. Who is? They're undefeated too. I didn't say Michigan. they won. But everybody's like, Michigan, Michigan, Michigan. Let's not downplay yeah. Washington. I want Washington. Remember, I'm born in Michigan. I'm born in Michigan. I want Michigan. But I don't want to downplay Washington. They got a good quarterback over there that knows how to win some games. They ain't 13 and 0 for nothing now. Okay, yeah, well, I, I, I'm gonna well, zip it up. I ain't gonna say nothing else because yeah, yeah, I, I don't I, have a favorite might, team. A I just you, speak from what I see. Right. right. But since you y'all such Michigan fans, I'm gonna let y'all roll with that. But well, don't no, downplay. Believe me, I, I've been. I'm not downplaying Washington, but I know they're not. A, they're not a better team than Michigan. Alabama. Look what I said. Look what I said. Don't, don't say, say it's, it's a walk walk Washington, Washington is for real. real. That's right, Art. That's they what have I not, said. Yeah. And, they're, and who they came through and how they got there, they haven't – nobody's seen a defense like Michigan. Well, their defense didn't look no good against Alabama. They got it done. At the beginning. At the beginning. They got it done. At the, you they don't play just done. at the beginning. You play but the, the whole is, game. If so they look, played the first look, half. We don't argue about this the, the whole half, time. It was boo, -boo It wasn't the defense. The it wasn't the defense. The def it wasn't the defense. The defense had to be on the field because the offense sucked. Okay, on, you, they, you, they still you, play you, one half an interception. You, 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 Tell you, me you, you wasn't biting you your nails in overtime. Oh, man, all night long. <laughs> all night long. <laughs> I was on the edge of my seat. And I'm not even a fan of Michigan. I want them to win, but I was just sitting here like, ooh, they might lose to Alabama. Oh, man. But you know no, what? Okay. No matter who you wanted to win, no team could hang their head because either team could have won either game. Those no. were two great games of the season. Mm -hmm. So, what can no. we say? Okay. Look, Shay said, all right, y'all, bye. Look, this is our show, Shay. <laughs> you go bye-bye. Are you freaking You're kidding freaking me, gentlemen? Michigan you know. defense kicked out of – Not in the first half, Art, not in the second hey, half. Defense. Hey, like, if that defense was kicking ass, why do we go to overtime? Okay, is now we need to get off the show. Because our, because our offense didn't score. Our <laughs> offense didn't score. Our offense screwed up. It didn't but play like it was supposed to be. But your defense couldn't stop Alabama. How many points did they score? It don't matter. The game was tied. You act like they couldn't. They win the overtime. Yeah. You, you, act, you act like they... They scored 48 oh, points. Boy. They only scored 23 points, man. What Here, are you talking about? Just listen to my point. This is my point. If the defense did so good, why do we go into overtime? Sharif, take us out, please. <laughs> yeah. Is the offense take us out, score. please. Okay, Michigan and Alabama. Defense, defense wins good. football games. Okay. And that's what yeah, happens. at the end of the game, not in the that's whole what second half, right though. There. Defense uh, wins basketball. In overtime, it did. But if the defense had to did his job in the second half, it wouldn't have never been no overtime. So shut up about that defense. It is. Okay. It's like I'm going on for a whole hour. So I think it's best for us to say peace <laughs> to everyone. And I want to let everybody know, make sure you check out the 2025 it's very important so we all got to vote and we need to know what's going on so that way we can be safe all right i want to tell everybody peace i'll see you guys next week thursday at 8 p.m eastern go see blue you. go blue go blue peace <laughs> we're in a lot of trouble because less than three percent of you people read books listen to me television is not the truth 
Television is a goddamn amusement park. Television is a circus, a carnival, a traveling troop of acrobats, storytellers, dancers, singers, jugglers, sideshow freaks, lion tamers, and football players. We'll tell you anything you want to hear. We lie like hell. We'll tell you any shit you want to hear. We do it in illusions, man. None of it is true. You're beginning to believe the illusions. This is mass madness, you maniac. In God's name, you people are the real thing. We are.